Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back. How are you guys doing? What is up? For today's video, I have been holding this back as much as I can because I am so scared to do this, but I will be cleaning out my closet for the first time in a very, very long time. Ow, fuck! I got my freaking... This is so off topic, but I went to a dermatologist and got my blood drawn and this freaking band-aid is ripping off my skin, I swear to god. Anyways, I'm gonna be cleaning out my closet for the first time in like a couple of years. My closet space is slowly running out and slowly looking at my closet, I'm becoming more lazy to dress up because it's just such a mess and I'm like, what even is in my closet that I can wear? Because half of my clothes I feel like I don't wear anyways and I feel like I could either donate or like sell or something like that. So let's get started and clean my closet. This can be a very long process or very quick process. I have multiple closets. This is the closet in my room. I have this closet and I also have this closet. You're probably like, whoa, Erica, like, how do you have so many, like, freaking closet room in your house? When my older sister moved out, we decided to transform this room as a closet room. And so this has, like, all of me and my sister's clothes, like, passed down clothes, my mom's clothes, my dad's clothes, my aunt, uncle, stepdaughter, fucking my great grandson's fucking clothes, all right? You can probably see why this will be a long fucking process. Hello, hello. Before we get started with today's video, I want to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Yay! This is perfect because I am getting rid of my clothes and I could find a way to shop for new clothes sustainably through ThreadUp. So for this back to school season, I want to try my best to give up fast fashion. I partnered up with ThreadUp to create a shop for you guys so you guys could find an easy way to shop for affordable and planet-friendly clothes. So I'm super excited to show you guys what ThreadUp can do for you. This is the first outfit. I'm obsessed with this top. Oh, look at this backless moment and this skirt. This top is from Privacy Please and apparently it retails around $65 to $50. I got it for $22.99. This denim skirt is from Topshop and these usually retail around from $50 to $70, but I got this for $19.99. I would throw on this thrifted bag that I got for school and this bag, guys, from Kate Spade. Thrifted it. I got this for $79.99 and this retails from $100 to $300. Let's say the skirt was a little bit too revealing for you boom black denim jeans that fit me perfectly i got this from j.ing i believe these jeans retail around 45 ish dollars and i got this for 24.99 it's giving expensive businesswoman i thrifted both this top and these pants this top is from free people okay it retails from like 48 to like 60 70 dollars and i only got this for $17.99. And then I got these jeans from Topshop. They're like ripped over here. Topshop jeans are like $74 and I only got this for $25.90 freaking nine. You guys could check out my back to school shop on ThreadUp in the link in the description down below. And you could use the code Erica for 40% off your first purchase, 40% off. And again, thank you ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. So this is my closet in my room. The one thing about this closet is that I don't use it that much because most of the clothes I wear are in that room. Clothes that I brought back from college, some of them are here because I didn't want to mix up my clothes with my little sisters and then her stealing some of my clothes. So <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then these are like really, really old sweatshirts. I'm like a hoarder for sweatshirts, but I think it is time for me to start letting go of these sweatshirts so let's see what we can pull out time lapse cue look what i found it's me and my sister's first merch i believe look how cute our designs were and then this is our second merch wow I literally only took out four things from the top top section. What the hell? I believe this is the, a sweatshirt my boyfriend gave me, but 
I'm sorry, like, this, this has to go. I don't think I'll ever wear it. I have like five bajillion other sweatshirts I have from him, so sorry, babe. Oh, nah. This gotta go. I am over. Okay, not completely over, but I am done with cropped jean jackets for now. And I'm pretty sure this one's a really old one, so. Bye bye. Okay, I think I'm gonna donate one of our merches because it's a size small and we have like mediums and larges and I prefer to wear those. So I hope this lands in a thrift store and someone thrifts it. That'd be so sick. Imagine, imagine that happens. Oh my God, this is a jean jacket that I thrifted like two years ago for a video. So cute, I forgot about this. It looks like I didn't clean anything. <laughs> But I didn't really want to do it colored ordered. I don't know why, but I don't like doing it colored ordered. It like just doesn't make sense to me for some freaking reason. I kind of just like to do it as in like the thinness of the clothing to the thickest. So I did like my just cover ups and zip ups and then to thicker sweaters to jackets. And then down here is just all hoodies. It doesn't look that neat, but um, maybe I'll fix it later. I don't know what to tell you, okay? I'm not like a freaking perfectionist, all right? Um, as for this pile, I've already organized it when I came back from school. And I think I'm going to just sell these three because these are pretty brand new. It just doesn't fit me anymore. So uh, yeah, that was pretty easy, guys. So far, there's the pile of clothes that I am pretty much donating except for this. I'm donating all of this. Hi. Oh my God. Okay, put these aside. Next closet. Oh shit. Let's get started on this side. This is more organized. Organiz organizing instead of like throwing out, I feel like. But uh, I guess we'll see. Okay, I don't know if you could tell, but it's a lot neater, a little bit more organized. I put all the bags over here, useless stuff over here, other useless stuff, and then stuff I got sent over here, towels over there, useless stuff over there. Um, basically, I just put all the useless stuff in a nice cluttered organization. So, uh, yeah. This is the main part of the closet and it's going to give me like the fattest headache. I don't know if I could do this. Oh my God. Okay, let's start off this section over here. These are the jeans and pants. And I swear to God, there's like pants that are like three sizes smaller than me because that's just how long I've been keeping the jeans here. Because look how many jeans we've collected over the years. Anyways, I'm gonna bust out some music because without it, I don't think I could do it. So, um, yeah, let's begin. Now that we've done down here, it's looking so clean. I'm so 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 happy about it but now i have to move up here and this is all like ski stuff over here so i don't know where i'm gonna put that so um i guess we'll deal with that later but for now i can't tell oh my god why, why do i look like abraham lincoln right now i can't tell if this looks organized or not like Genuinely, it is organized. I color coded it. I don't know why, but I don't like doing a colored order. But see, I don't think it worked this time because now it's like it looks messy still. I wish I just did it by occasion, like formal to informal. But uh, I don't know. My pile of donating is literally growing into a mountain now. I'm, I'm listening to SZA and jamming the fuck out right now. We're almost done with the closet, guys, and I'm like sweating. I'm sweating freaking balls. I feel like my camera is gonna die, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys the before of this side of the closet and then do a little transition, show you guys the improvement. These are like my sweatpants, and I've kind of already cleaned them up 
when I came back from college. Over here is getting a little messy. These are like pajamas and bras and underwears. This is workout clothes and I know for sure there's a lot to take out from here because these are from like when I was in middle school. And then over here are just box tees and like sleepwear. Very overflown, not organized at all. Let's see what we can do. Wow. I organized all my sweatpants. Still looking like an alien, but it's all right because the room is getting clean, you know? Maybe the shelves, but not so much the floor. The floor looks like a disaster. Um, look how beautiful this looks. Amazing. Are you guys ready for the review? Oh wait, no, I didn't do this drawer because who the fuck's gonna look at my underwear drawer and see if it's organized? No one, especially not you guys. Ta-da! gym wait it doesn't you can't really this whole thing is black leggings and it looks like it's empty well they're all rolled up and now it's not overfilling so yep yep hooray and then this the box tees wow all folded up amazing i didn't color code them because i don't have freaking energy for that last corner of the freaking room is over there let me let me just turn the camera this is the very last section of the room and i don't think there's much to do in the drawers so thank the lord but these boxes are just freaking aloe clothes bro i don't even know how to organize them but i'm gonna attempt to so um let me just show you guys what the situation is get this random towel out of the way and random trash okay basically they're literal baskets filled with clothes just all the way to the brim and they're not organized in any certain way they're just freaking shoved in here looking all pretty and stuff so i'm gonna try organizing it the best i can and then this is my little sister's clothes these i brought back from college so i don't think i'll have anything to donate because i just like got these from college and th these are just random shits i'm gonna do a transition because again my camera is dying so yeah one two three done okay i don't know if it looks any more different to you guys but i organized the top parts so i put all the shirts pants leggings shorts skirts and sports bras and tank tops it is now 4 49 p.m i think i've been working on this for like three hours now look at this crazy freaking mountain that i have built do you see that do you see this monster oh my god my camera is dying but look at this literally it's so huge i'm gonna package package this and come right back even though my camera's dying oh <laughs> I already put some of the clothes in one trash bag. I was trying to stuff in as much as clothes in one trash bag so I don't waste as much. Um, trash bags. Oh my god, Erica, say trash bag one more freaking time. There's already a hole in it because I was stuffing so much. So I gotta be a little bit more careful. Let's continue stuff in the bag. This is the clothes from my room. I just decided that I'm gonna donate everything because why not, you know? <laughs> We successfully have three full bags of clothes that we're donating and we have cleaned closets. It's time to see some of the selects I chose to donate and give away because some of these are horrendous. Some of these are memories and you're probably wondering, Erica, why the fuck are you so tan right now? It's because it's a week later and I went to Spain and now my face is burnt but anyways let me show you guys some of the um stuff i decided to donate because goddamn that's it just goddamn speechless anyways i first donated this sweatshirt i believe it's from target and i believe it's like literally three years old i got this in eighth grade actually i cropped it you know the classic v cut i used to do that to all my sweatshirts the next item <laughs> These velvet shorts from Forever 21. I swear I got this with my friend in like seventh grade and I used to wear this out. I don't know 
what in the right mind why I would wear this. Got this from Italy and I don't know why I bought it because it just like doesn't really fit me right and it looks like I have a pee pee. So bye bye. Next, oh my god, I don't even know where these. I think these are Aritzia leather leggings, like when they were trending during quarantine and they're like super warm. Um, I don't know what made me want to freaking get this and like what the fuck is that? Oh my god, I was so excited to try this on. I got this dress from White Fox. I got this dress for my Euphoria video and I never even wore it. And I never had the occasion to wear it. Okay, I tried this on. It's literally the size of my arm. But bruh, bruh, it doesn't even look that bad. Minus my sports bra. Just kidding, I kind of look flat. Like it looks like I have no freaking body, but... I cannot believe this fit me. It was literally the size of my arm. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my closet clean out. I noticed that some clips got deleted, so I'm really bummed out so you guys couldn't see like the final transition, but I cleaned my closet and I'm really happy. My mom walked in and was like, where's my Erica? Why is she cleaning? So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video once again. There's a link in my description below to check out the back to school shop on ThreadUp. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!